Today we are still in the north of Spain and we are going to go and uh, watch some exciting caves or you know homes previously inhabited homes that they dug out from mountains it's pretty cool i'm all dressed up because it's fucking freezing a friend of mine who i met here in the parking lot she told me that if you go up north more up north to the atlantic uh, ocean line the weather is really warm i look it up and she's right and so that's where, where i'm going to go next let me show you my parking this is a free motorhome dedicated parking lot basically there are some free services uh, nearby where you can get water and stuff like that. I enjoy this place. I've actually been here before, although I never went into the caves. This little park up, it's uh, right next to a small village. It's such a boring, tiny village. We are definitely not going to go, go in there. Here's my friend that told me about the weather up north. She's from the UK. Hello. Hola. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to tag along to the caves? Yeah, let's go to the caves. Yeah, let's go and explore the caves. This is the placard. They have a website address here, which you can go and visit. And they even say, look, this is funny. They even say that you can move in. It's ready to be moved into, right? <laughs> Anyone can come here and just move into these uh, mountains. You're from England, right? Yeah. So you're used to shitty weather. <laughs> and you said, you also complain about this weather, like I did. Yeah, for Spain, this is shitty weather. Did you hear that? Yeah. It's terrible weather. Shitty. It's not, it's not terrible yet. It's no. just... Just shitty. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. A little bit of sun would be nice. But isn't that the good thing about living in your van? Is that when it's horrible weather, you can just drive away. Yeah, exactly. Oh wow, yeah, yeah, this is super cool. Hey, why don't you go in here and see what you can find? So I don't have to. So dead end. <laughs> okay. Am I seeing this correctly that they actually have an electrical box of some sort on the wall? You see that? Yeah. Oh, it's an oven. Okay, I thought it was cool. I thought it was like cavemen living here, right? But you said that they have been living here as recent as 1960. That's what the sign says, yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, that's cool. So now we know that stoves existed in the 19, 1960. Indeed. Indeed. Yeah. <laughs> and so this over here is the shitty village, which we are not going to go visit. Have you been in here, this little village? I went shopping yesterday. Yeah, you found a shop? Yeah. Not a, okay. What? They have one of those? Mm -hmm. I didn't even notice. Let's go in here and have a look. Oh. <laughs> I fucking hit my head. <laughs> I fucking hit my head. I fucking hit my head on this guy. What the fuck? <laughs> Does it look okay? No? <laughs> I need to go to the hospital. Can you take me to the hospital? <laughs> oh gosh. I don't want to go in that one now. No, no, watch out, watch out. See how low this ceiling is. That's not yeah. something you expect. Well, That's not. In a cave. In a cave. Maybe everyone who lived here was sort of on Yeah, perhaps. Hi. Yeah. Oh, creepy. That is fucking creepy. And you see the size of this print? It's from a, it's obviously from a child. Yeah. See that? And then this one. Uh, yeah, they're like the scratches. <laughs> That's fucked up. That's seriously fucked up. It must have been weird, like uh, living in these caves and then the village like building up. Yeah, exactly. You must have had and, such a nice view and they before <laughs> and then they're just houses. And then, the, and then you'd be like, what, what's going to happen to my property prices? Indeed. My investment in the, this cave. Yeah. Yeah. Well, maybe they went up. People want these <laughs> desirable caves. Yeah, without toilets. Ideal location. Ideal location, yeah. definitely. That's, that's one thing. On Google Maps, I found uh, abandoned military uh, aircraft, like uh, fighter jets and tanks and all kinds of stuff out in the desert. I wanted to go there obviously to explore this site, 
But I recognize already from Google Maps that it's an, uh, it appeared to be an abandoned military site of some sort. So I just went into the information office here and asked them about that. And they said it's not abandoned. We are parked currently very close to this place. And last night I heard lots and lots of aircraft going in the sky. I don't really want to be breaking into a non-abandoned military site. So what I'm going to try to do is to go get close, pop up my drone and explore the area with the drone. Having said that, I don't think the drone is going to take off because he has this geofencing built in, so it's probably not going to take off near a military zone. But we'll give it a try. <coughs> it's not a toy bicycle. Aren't you over microphones yet? Bicycle, what fun? I'll push it off again. Bicycle, don't, please don't. This is the start of the uh, military zone. You can see there's staff hanging out uh, by the gate. So although Google Maps show that there's some uh, abandoned military aircraft inside, the site itself is definitely not abandoned. The ground has turned into red here. It's very windy here. Look at these cracks. <laughs> oh, look at it. Weird. And it's like mountains like this, just full of cracked clay of some sort. This is just big, big piles of clay. I think I can see the military aircraft over there. Taking off from the road. Take off. Entering an authorization zone may cause the aircraft to exit intelligent flight mode and hover. Unlock this area. I'm not sure what they mean by that. I see my drone in the air. It has a big problem standing still. The wind is actually pushing it. Ah! Go down, go down, go down, go down, go down. The wind authorization is... zone re edged. What? Landing. <laughs> okay, Landing. This goes. So this is not a good one. I need to figure out what this authorization zone means. And it's raining a little bit outside and very strong wind. So I don't want to be driving into the zone right now. To me, there's a couple of things in this world I don't understand. Call me an observational guy, but according to the satellite layer on Google Maps, you can see that this appears to be all desert, right? At least that, that's what you think, just sand and desert. Look what I have outside of the window. I mean, I have flowers out here and there's even patches of grass over there. Yeah, that's weird. I just made it to the top of an outlook. Uh, Barsky, I wasn't talking to you. Be quiet. The view is absolutely amazing. Do you hear the wind noise coming from here? It's super windy outside. <laughs> I don't even know if I want to go out here by foot. The whole car is, is shaking uh, because of the wind. Yeah, I'm probably not even gonna go step outside. Okay, let's step outside. Right. Oh, gosh, gosh. <laughs> Whoa. It is fucking windy here, all right. A lake in the middle of the desert. But I don't think you can call this a desert, really. There's a road there. We'll continue on that road towards that way. Here comes even more water in the so-called desert. I'm not so sure I can call this a desert anymore. See that? That's a lot of water for being a desert. Okay, this is seriously cool. What the hell? Wow. What? An abandoned building or a building in the desert, probably abandoned. 
let's go and find out. Maybe someone, someone is home and can make us a good cup of coffee. Hello. <coughs> oh, that's locked. What? They have put metal bricks in front of the window, so you can't even peek through. What is this place? It's so weird. Oh gosh, it's uh, it's windy and it's cold. It's cold wind. See another metal brick. They are trying to they are trying to hide something in there. I'm telling it they, they they have a secret stash here. The military has a fucking secret stash here. Has to be it, right? Has to be it. Lots of ammunition and stuff inside. Oh gosh! Oh, fucking wind! And it's and it's cold. Think we can get inside there? Ugh. Ugh. What the fuck? Ah. 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 Look at that! Snails in the desert. I told you there's a secret stash in here. I thought I was gonna find guns and ammunition and stuff. All I find is beer bottles. Who the fuck comes out here and drinks beers and then put all of this stuff inside here? That's weird. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck, it's cold. Oh, oh God. The pain and suffering I go through in order to do stuff outside of my car. I should probably stop filming and go back to sit in front of the computer all day. But Keen, you're so smart. What you're doing is exactly what I should be doing. Be inside all day and sleep. Oh, 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 uh, military aircraft. Woo, nice. Wow. Wow, this is gonna be so cool. What do you think we will find out here in the sky tonight when we sleep here? That's gonna be so cool. Probably nothing. This is an abandoned house, that much I know. Let's go inside and have a look. What the fuck? Someone must have hung himself here. There's a wire here hanging off of the ceiling. And beneath, beneath this loop is a chair. Right in front of it, it's an old painting of some sort, painted on stone, directly on the wall. Okay, that was it. Look at that thing. What the fuck is going on? What? What? <laughs> Baiski, it's gonna go to the my cat has actually been here before, but I don't think he... I don't think he remembers that kind of stuff. Do you, Bersky? Do you have, do you have a memory, Bersky? Yeah. Do you have a memory, Bersky? Yeah. Let's check out this building. Ew. Totally disgusting. <laughs> Log. Ah, God, I don't want to get closer. Oh, gosh. Wow, that's fucking freaky. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh -oh. Uh oh, that was scary. So, we're going to go now a little bit further down the road to where I think we will stay for the night. No, Baiski. I, no, I said no, Baiski. Nay, Baiski. I told you to not play with the microphone. Baisky, look at the view instead. Baisky! <laughs> Hola, where are you from? Uh, Italy and France. Ah, that's cool. Yeah. And this car, where is it from? Italy. Italy, right, cool. We are getting there now. Wow, look at that, look at that. This is a little bit gnarly to be honest. 
Uh oh. Uh oh. Here we go. Here we go. What? Woo! <laughs> he made it. Yeah! Two wheel drive, baby. Right around here, I think, is where I wanted to park. This is where I'm parked and where we'll be parking for tonight. Over on the other side where we were, the ground was like this all over the place. So it was impossible for me to get the wheels completely unaligned with a wash like this. Now my wheels are on top of solid ground. At least I think this is solid ground. That other place where we were, all of it was like this. And I don't want to go to sleep at this time of the year with all of my wheels on, on ground like this because what if it starts to rain heavily in the middle of the night and, and the car just washes away or something? What I would love to do is to find my way inside of here. There is an inside, obviously. This is the only way in, but it's obviously locked up. I really want to see what's inside. Can we peek with the camera? Now I understand why, why they've locked this up. It was clean and nice inside. There was like bo bottles of liquor and uh, a chair and really nice inside actually. When I saw that up north is way better weather, gosh, Saragossa has been raining cloudy basically constantly ever since I came down to this region. It has been super depressing. And just a little bit up north in the southwest, no, south, yeah, southwest. Uh, the left side of the maps, uh, you have like upwards of 18 degrees, no clouds, no rain, just gorgeous weather. Yeah, I'm in a little bit of a hurry to get there now, to be honest. So I'm going to sit down, work a little bit on my computer, and then later I'll show you something special. I promised something special, but uh, I fucked up. And the camera ran out of batteries. I couldn't capture what I was supposed to capture, which was gonna be special. So I'll give that to you in a future video. I, I just uh, I just finished my evening meal and I'm sitting here, uh, slowly fading away mentally, preparing myself for bed. I have absolutely, absolutely nothing outside of my window and that's the whole point. It's completely black. No light pollution, just the Spanish desert outside. But what's so fucking freaky is that I actually see a light in the distance, which is super weird because of where we are. We are out in no man's land right now. And it's getting closer, the fucking light is getting closer. I don't like that. I'm gonna turn off all my light lights inside the car and then maybe we'll see better what the hell that is. I'm going to take you back to my bed now and we peek out through the back window. That is amazing. Do you see that? Absolutely nothing. Just black. And no sound either. That's what I'm going to sleep to tonight. When I hear absolutely nothing outside, when I see absolutely nothing outside, God, I sleep like a baby. That light which we saw, I don't see it anymore. But if I stop posting videos, then obviously it was not a friendly light. You'll find my body in the Spanish desert. The light is getting closer now. It's a car. He's reversing here. And now he's stopped. This is really nerve wracking. And now he's just standing there. Now he's turning around. That was pretty scary. What was a car doing here? What I call in the middle of the night in the Spanish desert. It was not a motorhome or anything. It was just a weird car. And from what I could tell, it wasn't a military vehicle or a police car or anything like that either. Time now. Oh, fuck. I can't have any more surprises. I was just about to click on, on my display for to get the time information. And look what I, what I see. The world's biggest spider. We have a solution for that. Spiders in a car, how to most effectively kill them, any bugs for that matter, without causing a mess, is this, a vacuum cleaner. 
So you just suck the motherfucker up and then you just put a piece of tape to cover the inlet and then they won't come out of it. Bye bye spider. <laughs> Spider's not gonna be troubling a motorhome again. Voila. Time right now is close to 9 p.m. in the evening. Why? was a car driving around outside of the road here. He was driving this way, reversed, was paused right outside basically of my car uh, for a good five minutes at, at least, seven, eight minutes. Then he turns around and goes up and away the same way he came from. So fucking weird. Must have been a military vehicle checking me out, thinking I was the weird guy. I don't know. Time to go to bed.